No. Yeah! No. No, no. Mm. Summer is a time when ducks like to make plans. I've got it. Quack's plan. <clears throat> I, Quack, plan to spend my whole summer here in my pond, talking to my friends about ducks. How do you do that, do? Quack. Yep, nothing beats the feeling of a wet bottom when you're talking about ducks. <laughs> right, Frog? Frog? Hmm. Fish? Where are all the fish? Peep, chirp. Anybody? 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 I need everybody to come to me so I can be in my pond and talk about ducks. So come. Right now. Quack realized that if he couldn't get anyone to come to his pond, his plan wasn't going to work. Hmm. Oh, I know just what to do. Oh, Quack, you've done it again. You are so smart, Quack. Hi, Beaver Boy. I'm having a party. Big party! <laughs> okay. Where is it? <laughs> Come to my party, Newton. Loads of fun! Humongous party! Don't miss it! Everybody's coming! Hours later, Quack's party was not going very well. I'm the only one here. Quack, 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 quack. Good one, Peep! Aha! Why aren't you at my party? Because you didn't tell us when it is, or where. Ow. Quack re-invited everyone to his pond party. This time telling them where to go, his pond, and when, right away. Soon, Quack's party was in full swing. Well, the first thing you'll notice about ducks is that um, you can listen to a duck for hours and it's never boring. Never, never boring to listen to a duck. And listening to a duck talking about ducks. <laughs> now, now that's a good time. Or maybe half swing. Are there going to be any games? No. Can we go in the water? It's kind of hot out. Yeah, I don't really like fur and things in my pond, so no. Is there food? A party should at least have food. Of course there's food, Chirp. <laughs> really? You want food? <sighs> Now, can we please get back to me being in the water, talking to you about Dax? <gasps> hey! Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Where did everyone go? Uh-huh. I see. You don't say. Whoa, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, okay, I see. Yep, uh-huh. Got it. Mm-hmm. I have no idea what you just said. None. Hi, Quack. Sorry we had to leave your party. We got hungry. But I had acorns. And everybody likes acorns. Like who? Me. Who else? Me. Oh, and uh, that brown animal over there who waves his arms a lot? Squirrel. Anyone else? Oh, did I mention me yet? <laughs> but have you even tried an acorn? I mean, how do you know you don't like them? We couldn't eat them even if we wanted to. Our beaks aren't strong enough. Hmm. Mm hmm, yeah. Quack realized that for a successful pond party, he had to find a food that everybody liked. Okay, Beaver Boy, if you could eat anything in the world, what would it be? 
bark. <laughs> That's funny! I thought you said bark! <laughs> what did you really say? I said bark. You should try some. It's delicious. Quack had his doubts about Bark's deliciousness, but if that's what it took... New party with Bark! Don't miss it! Bark! 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 <laughs> that wasn't a new kind of dog, was it? Nope. It was definitely our duck. A big pile of bark. And what do I get? One beaver. Well, not everyone likes bark. You have to have special bark-eating teeth like me. Now you tell me. How am I supposed to throw a party when everybody eats a different food? Just tell them to bring their own food. No, that'll never work. Because when you... I uh, just... Quack. Huh. Quack. New and improved pond party! Bring your own food! So even though it was late, Quack finally got the party he wanted. Peep and Chirp brought berries and seeds. The rabbits brought lettuce. And there was bark and acorns and half a sandwich that raccoon found. Ahem. Since you all finally have enough food, it's time for the fun! Hooray! Yay! I, Quack, am going to talk to you some more about... Ducks! <gasps> That's the fun? Uh, it's getting a little late. Maybe I should just go home. Oh, well, gotta go. Yeah, I gotta Let's go. go again. But talking about ducks is the whole point of this party. But just as Quack's party was breaking up... What? Look at that! Animals didn't know what was happening in the sky, but they were so astounded that even after the fireworks ended, they stayed and talked, but not about ducks. If you don't want to hear about ducks, you can go home now. I wonder why the stars were flying around like that. It ended up being a great pond party, except maybe for Quack. It's late. You need to go. Yes, leave. Shoo. Thank you. Bye bye. Finally. <laughs> Quack. So after today, has Quack decided to revise the big plan he had this morning? Yes. No more parties. If I want to talk about ducks, I'll talk to myself. Do you agree, Quack? Yes, I agree. <laughs> Anyways, I'm a little bit snoozy here. Mm -hmm.